Okay, you see that I got my nice posterization. Now trace the bitmap, and that was a modify bitmap, trace bitmap. We did that and got this result. This is going to look really nice on my website. But look at here, I got some problems here. It, I lost my straight corner on my edge here, right? So I, I want to fix that. So what I'm going to do is, I'll see if I can do this right here. I'm going to grab my selection tool, and I'm just going to click and drag a selection box around here just to there let's say yeah just to there like that and then delete that piece and that'll kinda st square off my corner a little bit and then I'll uh, zoom out and I'm ready to move and work with the next thing now if I want to turn this into a, a symbol which let's see if he did that I think he did um, I forget in the, his movie whether he did or not um, yes he brings it in as a movie clip so with ours we want to make this a movie clip too so I'll select it and by selecting the keyframe or I can drag a selection box around it to select it and I'm going to convert it to a symbol modify convert to symbol movie clip I'm gonna call it um, let's say MC uh, and I'll call it um, arch BG for background and so now I have this background now what he's gonna do is um, this whole thing is going to start here. So as the thing plays, you'll see how nice that is. I can drag this over if I want. The whole thing will play, and it'll look like this. Let's see if I can make it smaller. View. Uh, I wish we could go less. Zoom in. Anyway, it's hard to view it uh, with such a small window but you can kind of see the background here how that's going to work no nope, it can't show less so um, but anyway you want to see on the side how the animation is working it's going to go back and forward and of course right now it jumps the movie plays just like this basically and then jumps back to frame one um, I'm liking the difference in colors here. I might need to uh, make this background color a little bit darker. If I want to go back in and change that, I have to go into my gradient. I'll turn the eyeball off on the arch, lock it, go into my gradient, double click on it, and I'm going to have to change the colors. So I select it, open up my color window, click on this color, and I could try to make it a little more purplish, or I'm not exactly sure how I do that darken it a little bit that could be good and over here color click on there and darken a little bit and over on this keyframe select it color click on the tab and darken a little bit and so that would be turn the eyeball back on and so now the color will be a little bit diff, uh, a little bit darker as it's um, going from one color to the next. Still think it should be a little more purplish, which I could work on, but I won't bore you with that. Okay, I'm working from Rich Shoop, and I'm going to uh, animate the next piece.